I also got Carmen the Dark World official Lost Lambs trailer. Let's get to the video. Right. Karma the Dark World is a narrative psychological horror game with a dystopian story setting in post-war Germany. You will play the role of a Rome agent called Daniel, ruled by the Leviathan Corporation. Your job is stepping into the people's memories to uncover the truth or evidence. Here is a small preview of the twisted landscapes and horrors that lurk in the shadows of their minds. Enjoy. All right, here we go, let's go. Do you think a glimpse of a memory is the absolute truth? Let's check this out. You don't get to choose to see the events that led up to these memories. <laughs> this is Andy? After. They're picked out for you by mother. Yo, this is an indie game? out right here <laughs> we are lost this is the way this is the way hold up this is an indie game who made this? Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, wait, this is actually an indie game. Okay, so listen, I don't know if you guys know, but like a few days later, uh, I said a few days later, wowzers, my brain is just upside down right now. Um, a few days ago was the indie horror game fest. So basically you have like a bunch of like, you know, uh, indie companies or like indie teams, indie studios, etc. cetera. Um, and they come through and they make a lot of games for me. Uh, I'm sorry, they make a lot of horror games, and then they just, like, just play them, whatever. I missed it. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I missed it. But um, I always, bro, literally always, I always put respect for uh, indie games. No matter what genre it is, I always put respect. Because at the end of the day, bro, without indie, you know, studios, without, like, any in, uh, indie genres, or without even, like, young developers, you know, who make, you know, some of these games or whatever, um, you know, and some pick up a lot of traction, some don't. You know, like their first, second year, whatever. But then, like, you know, they might uh, get somewhere or they might, like, get some traffic on, like, their third year, fourth year, whatever, bro. Like, being a video game developer, it's very hard, bro. Because there's so many games out there competing all with each other. And, and the thing is, they don't even know. Like, they're not even trying to compete with other people. They're just trying to make the best game that they can. And the fact that they're, like, you know, that they're going against each other, just, just not even, like, on purpose or whatever. Um, it, it's crazy. That's how like, you know, stuffed up gaming is nowadays, you know um, But I look at that as a good thing um, And again, I, I always say that like like the indie The indie genre or whatever you want to call it like indie games literally carry the video game industry because without indie games, bro This industry would be very empty um, Bro, like, like bro <laughs> legit bro. We would be sitting here waiting for a lot of these blockbuster games to come out so like gaming would le would legit be like Gaming would legit be dry as life, bro. It's like it's like a man, a guy, a male getting out of the shower. Uh, you know, he just got done using soap, whatever, and not putting on any lotion. Man, you know, his whole chest, his arms, man, his hands are straight up ashy. He need lotion immediately. That's how much the gaming industry would be without these ga uh, indie games. So if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, uh, shout out to all the indie uh, indie developers, uh, um, team studios, etc. Man, shout out to all you guys, man. Um, this does not look like it was made by an indie team at all. This thing looked like it was made by somebody who's funded millions of dollars. And I'm not saying that's not a bad thing. I'm like that's a good thing of what I'm saying, bro. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This look like this is like 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 I'm like the thing is I can see the indie ish in it. And okay, well that sounds crazy. I can <laughs> I can see like how indie like it looked but at the same time like bro you look at some of the creatures and like bro like some of the designs on like uh on like everything like the monsters and stuff like that on like how like unorthodox this game is because obviously like you're not just in like you're not just like you're not like in uh in like one building just walking around bro you're in like a building you're walking up some stairs the next moment 
Uh, you're going up against a dude with his head split open. Then you're going up against all these different other creatures. Like, this does not look like something that came from, like, an indie uh, studio at all. Uh, so, first of all, nice job on that. Uh, second of all, this game is very... <laughs> I'll tell you guys all the time. These games, these weird games, bro, where there's, like, you know, you walk down a hallway, then all of a sudden a snap happens, and, you know, you're walking down the hallway, and all the doors are, like, connected to the walls, but it's upside down, and, like, it's just crazy. A lot of those games, bro... Um, are definitely usually the good games like a lot of the um, unorthodox scary games are usually the games that people remember because they're very unorthodox you know they're not really just straightforward just oh scary cool whatever you know it's like it's very like if you can have a game that can really impact somebody that's really weird enough for people to remember that I think you get you, listen you did your job you did the job so other than that man comment down below what do you guys think about this I'm gonna be honest with you it does look really nice I'm not really into I'm not really into horror like that but um, as a person who's not really into horror, I, I could definitely play this as like a for like a video or for like a live stream or something like that. I, I could do it. And the reason I'm saying that is because you will never catch me playing this game behind closed doors. Never. I'm not a, a horror game type of guy. Um, I'm not one of those insane people that play scary games, you know, with the light off, with the door closed, with the door locked. Nah, <laughs> that's not me. See, I'm normal. Uh, if you guys do that, man, listen, you are a different type of creature. You're a different type of human being, bro. Other than that, man, again, comment down below. What else do you think about this? Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And peace.